Hey, good afternoon, guys. Ron here with Precision Sales doing a walk around of a beautiful head sail. This is for a O'Day 23 MK2. Uh, absolutely stunning sail. It is a 135% furling head sail. Added a couple of nice features for this gentleman. He's chose the uh, foam luff to help with his partial furling. And he, we've also put the offshore package on this guy. So let's, uh, let's start walking around and see what we can see. We'll start up here at the head. A um, couple of nice features here. We like to use the webbing loops at the top and at the at the head and at the tack and the reason we like to use those is that it helps uh, on those first couple of turns the the rings that traditionally are used and the press rings uh, don't make those turns as tightly as the webbing does so we like to go with those and if we just kind of walk on down here we'll stop down at this first broad seam and this is part of our offshore package so what we've got here is uh, three rows of triple zigzag stitching and that is an extra row over our, our traditional two rows. And then back here on the on the broad seam, this is a, a leech seam wedge. And that triangle shaped wedge there is going to ensure that that seam won't burst open if you find yourself overpowered or if you ever have trouble getting your sail back in and it's flogging for any period of time. It's a very common, very common uh, failure point of most sails. So, um, We've got this uh, sail kind of turned upside down a bit so you can see the foam luff when we get over there, but you can see that we've got the white Dacron is the UV coverage on this sail. And you can see that through through here. And uh, we'll just keep on walking down. Bring us down to the clue corner. A Couple of really nice features on the clue corner. Uh, we've added these Velcro tabs and they are in behind, in behind these pockets. So this is your leech line. And what you're going to do is tighten your leech, stick it down, cover it up with a tab, very low profile. It's not going to get caught on anything. Uh, it's not going to damage. It's also not going to break a cleat when it runs up against your shrouds. So we've got that for your leech and your foot line. Uh, we've got a leather clue corner hand stitched on with the leather. This is going to ensure that this lasts a ridiculous amount of time. Uh, very nice little uh, stainless steel ring as well. All hand stitched on. Hard to find better quality than that. All right, so we'll just walk down the foot here and uh, there is a foot line in there. Part of our offshore package though, you'll notice there's two rows of tape all along that foot. It's actually all around the sail, but it's easier to see here on the foot. So you can see two rows of tape and you can see the two rows of stitching there. It indicates that. Brings us down to the tack. Again, just like the head, we use the webbing loops and we use those, as I said, because they make those first couple of turns much, much tighter, which ends up being a better furl. And then this right here is the foam luff. And I get a lot of questions about foam luff and what it's used for. So foam luff uh, helps with partial furling. And the reason it does that, uh, the analogy that I like to use is if you take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and you try to start to roll it, it's a bit tough to get it really tight. If you were to take a pencil and start it around that pencil, it ends up being a very nice tight uh, roll. So the foam luff acts as the pencil around your forestay and your furling system. So you're gonna end up with a very nice tight roll and you're gonna end up with a better leading edge, which will allow you to point higher, also maintain some decent uh, sail shape as well. So there you go, guys. This uh, is an excellent example of the O'Day 23 uh, this one happens to be a, a Mach 2, uh, but it's 135% furling head sail made from Precision 300 series Dacron.